I have a constituent, uh, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, who's being held uh, captive. And, and I want to publicly thank you uh, for the exchanges, the information, and the frequent uh, interchange between both myself and your office and my staff and, and your office uh, staffs. Um, I, 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 it's impossible to sit here and convey to you what this family is going through. We all say we, we can't understand and we really can't. And um, obviously, uh, uh, without getting into the classified material or saying something that in, in unintentionally would impact uh, his safety, um, I think uh, we go uh, a long ways to helping this family have some peace if you would reiterate publicly, as you have to me privately, about uh, what a, a high uh, area of concern this is for the United States government. Uh, to return Sergeant uh, Bo, Bog, uh, Bo Bergdahl to us personally. Yeah, and, and uh, Senator, thanks thanks for uh, reminding the American public about uh, Bo and and uh, and his his plight right now. I would tell you that uh, every soldier that we have on the battlefield that is in a situation like that is becomes our number one priority. There are. Uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there are dedicated resources to doing everything we can to bring him home safe and sound. And I, and I would just say to the family, uh, I, I, I can't imagine what they uh, go through, but, uh, but they have our absolute commitment from the, uh, all the leadership. Uh, and I know I can speak for this table here from the intelligence community, but definitely all the leadership inside of the Department of Defense to bring him home safe and sound. Thank you, Director. Director Brennan. Uh... Um, Senator, I just say that when I was at the White House, I had the honor and privilege to meet with uh, Sergeant Berdahl's uh, mother and father. It was a very moving experience, and um, um, I told them then that uh, we would do everything possible to bring their son home safely. He is somebody who is, was on the front lines keeping this country safe. And I know uh, that uh, we are doing that on a regular basis. And so we, uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the family as well as with uh, Sergeant Bergdahl. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your uh, efforts in that regard. Thank you.